back out, girl. Oh, bless, bless. Yeah, Thank once you, you take that bun out. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love this. So I love superstars. I'm oh. from upstate New York, like way upstate, like closer to Canada, upstate New York. And um, superstars are really kind of, they're it for us. Like it's, that's that's where we hang. Yeah, that's like our go-to place. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so, you know, the problem I have with superstars though, tell me if this is you, when you go in, Right, you're going for like one thing. Yep. Like you need new hand towels mm -hmm. or something, right? And you know, and the hand towels are six ninety nine or whatever. Like, oh, what a great price! I'll buy four instead of two. I end up, I go in, I pick up the little thing, mm -hmm. I trade that in, for I go the, out with the full yep, cart. Yep, yep. Right? You go in for a six dollar item, you're five hundred dollars deep when you leave. I know, I know. Every time, every single time. They get you. They get, they you. get you with the super The store. deals and then things that it's like I didn't think I needed this, but I do. <laughs> I can't live without it. How did I live without this strainer? I don't know. Now, I grew up working in uh, Hojo's and being a fountain girl and all that. Yeah. Did you ever work in a superstore? Well, actually? I actually grew up in Canada, close to upstate New there York. There you go. We were just right across Lake right Ontario across from border. each other. Uh, and I worked at a store called Zeller's, which is like uh -huh. the Canadian version of a Kmart or a Walmart. Right, right, right. And so I started in the footwear department. I spent nice. two years on shoes. And then I got bumped on up to cash, which was a real feather in my cap, you know? The day uh, I went from dish machine operator to fountain girl, I cried. I it's a I know, it's a huge deal. And I, everyone was like, why are you so excited about being a cashier? And I was like, because I get to push the buttons. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Stuff with like, right? Oh. So your character really is like, Crazy uptight. Yeah. It's super mm -hmm. funny. Mm -hmm. Did you base her on a real life management experience? You know, she's <laughs> actually a character that I developed when I was at the Second City in Toronto, oh, wow. which is like a comedy theater up there. And uh, I think they've heard of that. Yeah, yeah. Second City. Um, <laughs> and we did this improv exercise where we cut out classified ads and put them in a hat, and then you drew it, read it, and that was your like character inspiration. Wow, that sounds like so much fun. I'm gonna yeah. rip that off for my next party. Yeah, right? Right? yeah it's so, so fun. fun. And mine was literally like it. It said like. Um, Woman uh, who loves hard rock concerts and roller coasters seeks platonic male companion for fun. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the character that came out. And, that, and now, and literally, that's Dina. Like when I was reading the script for Superstar, I was like, I know her. I've known her for years.